watching football now from your perspective outside of the game, if you do get back in the game, are there things that you would do differently, like maybe being more aggressive on fourth down and saying, hey, we're going to – the analytics have changed. People have started to get the numbers into the game a little bit more and do things a little differently, go for two in different situations. Have you have you done that, like kind of – Yeah, I mean, I, we've your always done resume? that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I you know, the analytic thing is, is obviously it's trending right now. Um, mm-hmm. We saw what it did for the Browns. Uh, you know, a few years ago, it ruined the organization because that's what they stood behind. But everybody's interested in that. And basically, analytics are all based on past, based on past history. Right. And, you know, everything's different. Everything's subjective uh, in the past. You don't know what the what the de- why the decision was made or who was hurt or who was not hurt or what the where the momentum was. And there's all it's objective based on objectivity, based on the past. But, you know, the game is so subjective right now. I mean, when you flip over the officials and, you know, it's got to be clear and obvious and no one knows what clear and obvious is, it, it's different. So there's a gut feel that, that you have to rely on when you're either going for it on fourth down or you're faking a punt or, you know, and, and those type of things. And, you know, you can't take that away. You can't rely on some guys down the hall sitting in a room, you know, punching on a computer going back and finding information Mm -hmm. back from 15 years ago it doesn't work I mean I saw it firsthand in a game I was familiar with uh, there was a an individual helping us uh, a head coach and his responsibility was to handle fourth down and you know he was the analytic guy and and ironically in this game there were two fourth down opportunities that came up and and he he didn't go for one and then went for the next and in my opinion they were both absolutely wrong but he was ba- it was based on what the the it's, analytics yeah. recommendation is it's got to be it's got to be one of those things where whenever you see analytics it happens in it happens in uh <laughs> that was a nice move by Hank there uh it happens in baseball as well where i think there is the numbers are good and the numbers make everyone a lot smarter but at the end of the day there's an element I think there was actually happened in the Belichick and Saban documentary where Belichick was like, you can throw all the analytics out. We just didn't tackle like, you, you know, sometimes it's like, yeah. hey, if we don't want it more, if we don't if we don't tackle or if we just don't play, you know, the assignment that we're supposed to play, the numbers can't help you. Well, it, yeah, but how, who's to say that the quarterback didn't give it up and, and Aaron Rodgers like pull the defense off sides on fourth down and it converted. So here's another net a notch that's in true. the conversion. Yeah. Yeah. But see, that's the thing about it. And you just have to be real careful when you're relying on it. Now, what it is, is, is it's a convenient excuse. Well, analytics say go for it. So I went for it and we didn't convert. So yeah. it's okay. Get off my ass. Right. It you is true. Know, hard the, data to sell the fans on why you made – a certain decision it's like well don't be mad because the probability said that that was the right and thing to it, do. it's true what you're saying like the i think the you know whatever the i can't remember what the exact percentage is for like a two-point conversion it's like 51 52 percent right. something like that yeah for the bears it's less i know that because their offense has struggled all year so it's like you can't play exactly those numbers if your team if you're and for the ravens it's more like the Ravens will get a two point convert. The Ravens will get three yards, two yards, more than fifty one percent of the time. Well, the time. Ravens are averaging, I, I don't know what it is, but thirty eight points a game. It's crazy. So yeah. why not go for it on fourth yeah, down? No, it's true. Where the Bears are, are trying to win thirteen to ten. Yep. You yep. know, it's and, true. and hope that you got a kicker that can kick a field goal. So Which it's it's yeah. it's all different. That. You just have, you to, have to watch. That. So no, that's I, a good point. It's okay. No, it's okay. The team that I, you know, I'm in Nashville right now, and they're 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 they playing need a kicker. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's I know. hard. Actually, funny enough, their best kicker this year has been Cody Parkey. Go figure. 